I put Goodwill in my GPS, and I thought I was going to a new Goodwill. Turns out it's the same Goodwill I was at last time. All right, well, we are in Melbourne, Florida today. I put Goodwill in my GPS, and I thought I was going to a new Goodwill. Turns out it's the same Goodwill I was at last time. Proves how directionally challenged I am, but that's okay because I had pretty good luck at this Goodwill the other day. So we're gonna head in here. We'll probably see some of the same things we saw the other day, but we might see some new stuff. So let's head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, well, the great news is that this is one of my favorite Goodwills that I visited the other day. <laughs> so of all the Goodwills to revisit, this is the one that I would want to revisit. Um, Ooh, this is really pretty. Look how blue this is. It's very large, though. Not something I would want to ship. And probably contemporary. <laughs> There's some cute little vases made in China. I wonder if those go with the vases I just picked up. The fun thing is that now that I've been here, I kind of know the layout. So now I know where the figurines and the vases aisles live. This looks like it may have a repair right there. I think that's a crack and a repair. Otherwise, I might pick that up because it is a nice slag glass. Um, so this is the figurines aisle. Check out these giant <laughs> elephants. Those are made of resin. They're really fun, but you can see how huge they are. Not something I really want to mess with. Oh, this is really cute. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I wonder if that's uh, Tonala. It's $5.99. And it's a really fun frog. It might not be Tonala. It could be Asian. There's absolutely no markings on that, but it's $5.99. I think that's something I would take with me. It kind of reminds me of Ken Edwards, but it might not be. I don't know. There's no markings. It's just really sweet, so you got it. And this is the vase aisle. A lot of the same vases I was seeing the other day. This kind of has a neat design on it, $4.99. Okay, well, I'll get back to you guys when I find something. More decanters. This seems to be the goodwill of decanters. <laughs> I was pretty pleased with the decanter I got the other day, though, with the full design. So for that reason, I don't think I want to mess with any other decanters. That's a neat biscuit jar. Kind of a fun design. Looks to be vintage. Definitely heavy. Probably pressed glass because it's not real sharp. Um, a lot of the times when something is uh, a cut glass, it's not as rounded here on the edges. So you can kind of feel it and tell if it's pressed or cut. This is likely uh, pressed. It has that daisy and buttons pattern on it. It's pretty, but I don't know if it has much value beyond $9.99, which it's priced at. I like that pink. It's $14.99, though. If it was like half that, I'd probably grab it. What is this? This is Gold Tree Stocking Hanger, made in China. It's not really tis the season for stocking hangers. This looks French. Maybe? I don't see any markings. Oh, it's got a crack on it. So maybe not today. <laughs> or any day, actually. Um, all right, let's go check this direction. Check those out. $2.99 each right here in the holiday section. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm here. I might as well check the holiday section. How about we back up and take a more thorough look at the holiday section? Because I literally just like went down the aisle, not even really paying attention. <laughs> but that totally made it worthwhile. I'm not seeing much else though. That was exciting. Those are fun. I don't really see any other fun in there. All right, so $2.99 each on the front and candle holders. A little cake plate. Sweet. That would be Avon. <laughs> I decided to take a little bit of a closer look. I was gonna take off and then I was like, you know what? 
maybe we should creep a little closer because after finding that thing, that's like, that's exhilarating. You know, that kind of gives you a little bit of a rush. So maybe we might find something else, but um, I'm not really seeing anything. <laughs> I mean, I was really excited and then I was like, okay. Um, now, now it's wearing off a little bit, but there was a chance. Ta-da! $3.99. That looks good. $3.99. I don't see any bruises on it. I get asked a lot what I mean by bruises. I don't know if that's like an official term. I feel like it's one I just came up with. But what I mean by bruises is like internal fractures. Like if it hits something hard, it's a, a chip or a crack that hasn't really broken away. But you can see it on a paperweight or a, um, a thick piece of glass. This is $3.99. Got a nice smooth base. That's a good buy. We're gonna take it. All right. Well, my total spend there was seventeen dollars and forty-one cents. I got the Fenton candlesticks, the paperweight, and that cake stand. Um, I didn't spend a whole lot of time there because I was just here, and I've seen a lot of this stuff just a few days ago. Uh, so I figured we'd just do a quick breeze through and we'd head to the next Goodwill that we haven't been to. Um, so I plugged it into my GPS. We're going to hit the road. Um, the next Goodwill is Viero Beach. So yeah, let's go check it out and see what we can find. Here we go. All right. Well, I specifically remember not finding much hair last year. However, I do remember how pleasant the staff was. So <laughs> hopefully this year we find lots of stuff. And the staff is still very pleasant. Um, what is this box? Oh, it's, a, it's literally, it's a box thing. Okay, we almost lost the lid. Is that Aboriginal art? The little dots. I've seen lots of frames and big things that I don't really want to mess with. Some sort of glass bead things. That's a fun snake. Maybe I should just shop for the kids. <laughs> to be honest, I'd be shopping for myself at that point. Um, all right. Here is the vase section. Lots of clear glass vases. Nothing very exciting. Here's some art pottery. Goblet of some sort. It's footed. It's clear. Okay, well I saved these aisles for last. I know it's hard to believe I've been down all the aisles, but um, this is kind of like a cookware aisle. <laughs> and I saved it for last. These are really fun down here. Or are they made in the Philippines? I like those. Are those vintage? I don't know. I'm kind of getting vintage vibes. They got some tarnish on them. They're really cool looking. They've kind of got like this Hollywood Regency style. I don't know if they're necessarily old enough to be Hollywood Regency. But aren't they cool? Just, I don't know. I'm gonna buy them. They're probably booth pieces. You got a square one, and you have the triangular ones. Five ninety nine, five ninety nine. Quality checked and inspected for Marquee Collection of Beverly Hills. There you go. These traveled all the way from Beverly Hills to Florida, and now to Pennsylvania. Well, I learned from the last Goodwill not to discount the holiday section. We found some Fenton. So, let's check it out. There's a fun Scavo textured. Pumpkin. I almost called it a pineapple. <laughs> what is this again? Oh yeah, that's right. It's definitely a pumpkin. This is a made in shop. Sometimes I'll pick up like the artisan pumpkins. The made in China ones you can usually get at like TJ Maxx or Home Goods, so they're not as exciting. 
I don't see any fenton here. What is that thing? She's just kind of fun looking. All right, here's a glass sculpture. Somebody had hidden it behind this. But they couldn't hide it from me because I sniff out glass. <laughs> this is probably like bad ash or something. And um, this is likely made in China. Oh look, home essentials. Pieces like this are almost always made in China. So that's why I discount them so often. I get a lot of comments that, oh, you missed that. And, and that's why I just don't even really hardly ever look at them because um, most of the time they're made in China. That doesn't mean they don't have value, but um, I'm kind of picky when it comes to stuff like that. What is this thing? <laughs> this is weird. I don't know what that is. All right, well, I'm gonna take my fancy canisters and I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna go to the next Goodwill and you're gonna come with me. So, let's go. All right, well, I didn't find much. I did find those really cool canisters. Uh, the staff was super friendly, again. <laughs> really friendly staff so you can't be mad about it. didn't find much but I found something cool the staff was super friendly our total spend was $28 and we're gonna move down the road and I'm gonna take you with me and we're gonna see what we can find at the next schedule so here we go all right well they have definitely renovated since my last visit here so that's kind of exciting it looks really nice there is an ice bucket, I think. Kind of reminds me of the Desirono ice buckets. It's $4.99. It is hand blown. I think I'm going to leave that behind now. Our, um, our weekly uh, topic this week on knickknacks is hand blown glass. So uh, if you hop on over to knickknacks, you can see some of our hand blown glass over there. These all look like they could be Mackenzie Childs. There's an unfortunate boo-boo on this. The other one looks to be okay. I don't know if it would be worth selling just one. Hmm, I might grab them just for the one because I know in general they're pretty valuable. That is if they are in fact Mackenzie Childs, but they're only a buck a piece, so it makes sense. We have a glass turtle here for $6.99. Kettle one vodka <laughs> canisters. And there's another giant elephant that seems to be the theme of the day. Giant elephants. That's a pretty shell. I do like that, but it is uh, made in India. Probably a common decorative piece. It's $13.99. Don't think that's something I want or need for resale. That's a clear glass in this section. Here's another common decorative piece. These are often mislabeled as Murano. I don't know why. It's not, it doesn't look anything like any Murano I've ever seen. Another nice decorative piece of glass under there. That's kind of pretty. That reminds me of Oleg Cassini. I'm always picking that up and then thinking that I found something really good and then Oleg Cassini doesn't sell that well. <laughs> would be my luck. I do love the facets on it. These are pretty. Are those wood? They are wood. They're signed simply N. I don't know if those have much resale value. They're kind of just fun and colorful. Here's some Ray Dunn. It's tea. Originally $12.99. And they're asking for 99 This is one of the more contemporary tea canisters. I'm usually looking for the older Radon. That's the stuff that's more valuable. And I think the older stuff just has that big M. It's, uh, oh, hey, look. That looks like it could be a Blue Mountain Pottery, but it has a repair on the leg there. So, and for that reason, we'll leave them behind. He's very sweet though. I don't know, should we take him? <laughs> Just for the sake of it? I don't know. He's very sweet. Uh, I don't know, he might not make the final cut, but for now I'll stick him in my cart. 
don't think I've ever seen a deer before. The baby, I should say the doe. That's kind of why I'm a little tempted. Uh, praying hands, that's a point for me. Trinket dish is cute. Hobby Lobby. There's a sweet little hound dog for a buck ninety-nine. He's just a figurine. Maybe I'll take him with me. And then, of course, we have the flower canister here. So this is, this might be worthwhile. So now that we have a flower and a tea canister, I might consider picking them up, making them a set. I don't know though, I may need to find one more canister to make it worthwhile. Here is a birdhouse that says fly. Some of the older radon birdhouses are worthwhile. Five ninety nine the Inesco Garfield. I don't know, maybe I'll look him up. Mm, here's a whole set of solamine for four ninety nine. down the other end of the aisle. Let's see if I can find anything down the other end. Oh, hey, talk about a big M. <laughs> I don't know, is it Ray Dunn though? Maybe we'll look that one. We've got a few things to look up today. I'll stick that in here. Crank on my Easter plate. It's pretty specific with 1972 on there. Alright, well, I have to wait a minute. I can't really get down this aisle yet, so I'm gonna look up the few, um, the Garfield and that coffee mug. Alright, there you go. Vintage Ray Dunn, $59.99. It was free shipping, but hey, we'll take it. Um, so that is one of the older pieces of Ray Dunn. It's got the big M on it, like I had just literally said. Um, and then we find it. See, that's pretty exciting. So I'm definitely going to be picking up that Radon mug. Um, and that's versus the more contemporary mugs, which usually sell for like 8 to 12 bucks. That's the usual market for Radon mugs. So that's exciting. Um, next, I'm going to look up that uh, Garfield Golfer right there. Garfield Golfer figurine. I don't actually see any that have sold. But if I filter and I turn off sold, there are a ton listed, uh, anywhere from like nine bucks. Um, so that means nobody's buying them essentially because there's all these listed and nobody's bought any because there's none sold. So for me, that's not really worth picking up. You know, somebody's got it listed for nine bucks and it hasn't sold. There's not really a market for them at six bucks. So I'm gonna put this one back. Are kind of cute. What are those? Oh, those are votives. These aren't even like glasses. Desarona. These ones actually say Desarona. They don't always say say that. Usually they're just like square bottom cups. Let's see if there's any more fancy uh, redone mugs while we're over here. That would be exciting. No, it's not fancy though. It doesn't have the big M. I got the handles on that thing. That is fancy. <laughs> what is that? That's some fancy sort of wine chiller. Yikes. There's no markings on the bottom. I expect that they would sign that. Have an etching of some sort, but nope. Um, I'm going to look up these uh, salt and pepper shakers and the deer as well just because there's no point in taking a broken deer if it's only worth eight bucks in good condition obviously um, and same with the shakers all right so you're here you have it um these are the courtly check uh salt and pepper shakers the blue ones are worth about 58 bucks new go down here uh 46 dollars in good condition for the pair are they sold for 65 here they are 28. I think I'm gonna grab them. I mean, obviously I only have one, but somebody might be looking for a replacement because maybe they had an issue with one. Um, so lastly, let's look up the deer. 
So this doesn't look to be a very common design. They're usually the laying down version. You can see a lot of those um, here on Worth Point. But um, it looks like it only sold for like 22 bucks. In the standing version, here it is. It sold for 20 in 2017. So I don't know if it's really worth picking up. It doesn't seem very common, but I, what I found is the, the Grand Mountain Pottery in general doesn't sell very high. Granted, there's always rare pieces, but um, this isn't one of the rare pieces that sells for a lot of money. So if it was, that chip wouldn't, or the crack wouldn't really be a big deal, but it's not super rare or super valuable. It sells for like 20 to 25 bucks. Um, and with a crack, obviously, it's gonna be less. So I'm gonna put it back. All right, well, our has been here at the Merritt Island Goodwill. It was just $12 and some change. Um, and we did pretty well. We did a nice little cart cleanse there at the end. I amended some of my bad decisions. <laughs> I put back the cracked figurine. Um, I did keep the uh, chipped shakers, but one of them was in good condition, so I could still make money on it. Um, and I'm pleased with everything I got today. I mean, I didn't fill my cart. You don't have to fill your cart every single time. I kind of had to wrap my brain around that because I was in this like mindset of, I have to get all these things. I have to fill my cart every single time. But after a while, it just, you know, I'm getting overwhelmed and I'm like, I don't have to fill my cart every single time. I can get a few cool, great items and not have to fill my cart. So I got some cool stuff today. I got some great stuff today. It took me three Goodwills, but I got some great stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna head back to the house now, um, maybe get some dinner with the fam, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed shopping with me today, and I will see you all tomorrow, so long. Um...